my Christmas break, I had the opportunity to read the narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass. The Rochester City School District supplied us with this novel to read and expected me to expound on what I read and how it made me feel as I myself, being an African American and an eighth grader in the Rochester City Learning Institute. Before I began to read this novel, I had heard about it prior from a few other people that have read it and raved about it. I myself experienced it differently. I had some mixed emotions towards it. When reading the novel, my first impression, impression was, what am I reading? The content of the narrative was far more advanced for me. I found myself getting a dictionary and thesaurus to look up words I have never seen before in my life. On the other hand, I was very, I was, on the other hand, I was appreciative because it helped to expand my vocabulary. So with that, I am grateful. <laughs> After being able to cross-reference the words unknown to me, I was able to read through the novel again with a clearer understanding. That's when it all sank in. So then I began to feel very angry to read such material that was, very, that was brutal and degrading to African Americans. Furthermore, I began to question as to why the Rochester City School District would supply us with a novel that we that would evoke such emotions. I also began to question what were the district motives and intent behind us reading about history that doesn't complement the right race and their behaviors at all. What would come about of this? Would they even consider my thoughts and my opinions? So I am very curious to see what the turnout will be. The one passage I would like to focus on was written on page 20, where it quoted Mr. Oz, a master mentioned in the, in the narrative, opinions towards black and education, and I quote, very soon after I went to live with Mr. and Mrs. Oz, she very kindly commenced to teach me the ABC. After I learned this, she assisted me in learning to spell words of three or four letters. Just at this point in my progress, Mr. Aw found out what was going on and at once forbade Mrs. Aw to instruct me further, telling her, among other things, that it was unlawful as well as unsafe to teach a slave to read. To use his own words, further he said, if you give a nigger an inch, he will take an ill. A nigger should know nothing but to obey a, his master, to do as he is told to do. Learning will spoil you the best nigger in the world. Now, he said he, if you teach that nigger, speaking of myself, how to read, there will be no keeping him. It will forever unfit him to be a slave. He would at once become unmanageable and of no value to his master. As to himself, it could do him no good, but a great deal of harm. It would make him discontented and unhappy, skipping down, I now understood what, what what had I now understood what had been to me a most perplexing difficulty to win the white man's power to enslave the black man. I had it was a grand achievement and I prized it highly. From that moment I understood the pathway from slavery to freedom. My thoughts. This type of thinking is still prevalent in our society today. Most white teachers I have come into contact with over the last several years of my life have failed to instruct us even today. The teachers are not as vocal about us not learning how it has been described in this narrative, but their action speaks volumes. All right now. When I myself sit in a crowded classroom and no real concrete instruction is taking place, mm. it makes the saying, history does repeat itself all the more true. For white teachers to be able to be in a position of, tool, of power to dictate what I can, cannot, and will learn, only desiring that I may get bored because of the inconsistency mm -hmm. and the mismanagement of the classroom yes. and may illiterate and ignorant, or better yet, distracted because some children decide to misbehave because they don't understand and ashamed to ask for help. There you go. The yeah. teacher recognizing all of these things and still not addressing the matter at hand, so much time has been wasted. Then the bell rings, and on to the next class. Same drama, different teacher, different class. There you go. 
When do we get off this roller coaster? Come on. When the white teachers begin to pass out pamphlets and packets, they expect us, the black students, to read the directions, complete it, and hand it in for a grade. The reality of this is that most of my peers cannot read and or comprehend the material that has been provided. So I feel like not much has changed, just different people, different era. The same old discrimination still resides in the hearts of the white of the white man. In closing, my suggestion to my peers, people of color in my generation, oh. to try to achieve what has been established by African Americans and abolitionists that paved the way for us to receive what's rightfully yours. Blood, sweat, and tears have been shed for us to obtain any goals which we may set for ourselves. That's right. Never being afraid to excel and achieve because our ancestors have been bound for so, 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 so long. Come on. We are free to learn. And my advice to my peers, people of color, and my generation, stop making these white teachers accountable for instructing you. They choose this profession. They brag about their credentials. They brag about their tenure. So if you have so much experience, then find a more productive way to teach the so-called unteachable. Come they on. contain this document that states they have all this knowledge. So show me. What you know, teach me your ways. What merit is there if you contain all this knowledge and not wearing this share because of the color of my skin? Come on. To all my to all of our surprise, we are we have to all of our surprise, we all have the same warm red blood running through our veins, regardless of what race I may be. If you don't believe me, then poke me and poke a white man and you will see. To my peers, people of color in my generation, start asking questions. Start doing research, get involved, and grant prices pay in order for us to be where we are today. But in my mind, we should be a lot further. So again, I encourage the white teachers to instruct, and I encourage my people to not just be a student, but become a learner. Thank expected her to get it, but she did, and that was a, a wonderful piece, and I think, you know, she's 13 years old, uh, read something, and really, you know, applied it to your life, and, and I think that, and I hope that she takes that and, and doesn't give up. So what we have is uh, the Spirit of Freedom Award, actually. Hold on one second. I'll come around. We're waiting on We've all heard it aloud, um, but this is the award, the Spirit of Freedom Award, uh, that we wanted to give her because we want her to hold that tight, uh, what it is that she um, found out um, and what she captivated there, not to give it up no matter how hard it's going to be. Sometimes when you, uh, Matt had written a piece, you know, she might have not chosen the fight, but the fight chose her. You cannot unlearn when you learn something like that. It's not something that you can unlearn. So you're kind of stuck with it. You know, they say ignorance is bliss. But now that you have it, you know, you have that, you know, you're going to have to take that and cultivate that and continue to be a learner. So we just wanted to. I, I read the uh, essay at least four times now, and this is the fifth time I've heard it. And I really liked it, though you read it. Um, that's great. I really do love it. And um, the little stamp there, it says 21st century abolitionist. That is one of the uh, yes. um, aspects yes. of the Federal yes. Foundation. So, in my piece, I said, welcome to the fight. And um, you are a 21st century abolitionist, so welcome. Do you have anything else you want to say to us? We see a great future for you. Oh, 
I thank you all for coming and sponsor, I mean, um, being here and helping me out. I thank for um, my mom and Sister Tabitha for supporting me. I thank you all for supporting me. Um, and I say. <laughs>